here is everything you need to know about the next Brawl Stars update. All the big changes that we learned from Brawl Talk. Let's do it. By the way, we will have more update sneak peeks coming soon, so if you do not want to miss out, definitely subscribe, and if you want the notification, hit the bell. Let's start off with some of the biggest changes coming to Brawl Stars, and that includes what's coming with the Brawl Pass. First of all, tokens used to be used to unlock boxes, and that is no longer the case. Before, you would collect tokens, and every hundred would be a new Brawl Box. Now, instead of those tokens going towards Brawl Boxes, they now go towards your Brawl Track. And on the Brawl Track, you will have a bunch of different rewards, including Brawl Boxes, Big Boxes, Gems, and maybe even other stuff. So while this sounds a little confusing at first, it basically just means all those tokens you get now go towards a more specific reward as opposed to just a generic Brawl Box. Now as you can see on this Brawl Track, there's a bunch of different numbers indicating which number reward you are getting. And each tier or each number takes a different amount of tokens in order to achieve that reward. We don't know exactly how much it's going to be per token for every single reward, but you can see at level one, it's gonna be 75 tokens for that first reward, and at level five, it's 150 tokens. So it will probably increase or decrease depending on the quality of the reward is my guess, or maybe even the further along the track you get, it could also increase in the amount of tokens needed to get that reward. By the way, while we're talking about changes, gems will no longer drop from boxes. They will now only be on that Brawl track. Whether that's good or bad, hard to tell, but now you'll know exactly when you will get gems or not. By the way, if you're wondering how many gems are in the Brawl track, well, I will say first of all, all of the rewards in the Brawl track are definitely subject to change and probably more like guaranteed, will be different from what you see in the Brawl Talk video. But, in the Brawl Talk video, you can see at least 30 gems worth of rewards, and we'll talk about exactly how much of the other rewards there are in a moment. If you couldn't tell, there are two tracks. The free track, which everyone will get, and the track for those who buy the Brawl Pass, where you'll get both tracks available to you. And you can see in the Brawl Pass track, there are a lot less rewards, but definitely better ones, and you will get the guaranteed chromatic brawler. Also, the Brawl Pass is going to cost 100 and 70 gems, which if you look in the store, you can buy 170 gems for exactly $10. Although if you're buying $100 worth of gems, it's about $8.50 for one Brawl Pass. And of course, you also get those free gems uh, in the Brawl Track on the bottom free tier. We don't know exactly how many that is, but as I said earlier, we can see up to 30, which puts the cost at 140 gems, which would be about $7. Now, we actually don't know exactly how long the Brawl Pass is going to last, we're still just assuming that it's about a month. And I'm sure with this totally new system, some of you are worried whether you're getting more rewards or less. Well, a direct quote from the developer would be more rewards than before. So, it seems like it should be good, although we don't know the final verdict just yet. Another big change coming in the Brawl Pass are quests. That's right, quests are coming to Brawl Stars. A bunch of different ones from getting kills with a specific brawler or healing a certain amount with a specific brawler like Poco or Pam or other various quests. And some quests are actually exclusive to those who buy the Brawl Pass. But every single quest will give you tokens which will go towards your track once you complete that quest. At the moment, it doesn't seem like there's a time limit on the quests or that they refresh. My guess is that there are a specific number of quests for every Brawl Pass and they probably won't refresh until the next one. Oh, and you can see up to 24 different reward stages on the Brawl Track. You also might have noticed that the theme of this Brawl Pass is Tara's Bazaar, which actually is also the new environment coming in game, which makes sense that that's what they named the pass after, you know. By the way, a cool detail in Tara's new environment is Sandy sleeping off to the side, rocking back and forth like a baby. As far as the total reward seen on the Brawl Pass, well, in the free version, there's 100 gold, 100 power points, 7 Brawl Boxes, and 11 Big Boxes. And on the Brawl Pass side, there are 500 gold, 
300 power points, zero brawl boxes, zero big boxes, but a couple mega bucks. And yes, I had to go check, it is five mega bucks. So in total, all combined, 600 gold, 400 power points, and 90 total brawl boxes. But again, very likely that these numbers will have changed by the time the brawl pass actually comes out. And before we move on, there was also an icon that was shown, leaked, or whatever, while they were showing the brawl pass. And that uh, is an icon I've never seen except it's usually the icon for heist. So why does it seem like it's not for heist? Because why would, I don't know what it is, but there's a new icon and it's looking like heist, but it definitely can't lead you to heist because that makes no sense. Maybe it's a safe or maybe it's the icon you click to get to Brawl Pass. I'm not sure. There's also going to be pins that you can collect in Brawl Stars. These pins are emojis, so to speak, of either brawlers being angry or happy or sad or what have you. And you can use them in chat in your club or your team. And eventually, doesn't sound like they'll have it at the time of the update, but eventually you will also be able to use those in battle. And you can also see there's a new icon specifically for it and I don't know how I feel about having another icon after we just got the gadget icon personally, but since you can probably customize where that icon is, since we can now customize our controls, maybe it won't be so bad. There are seven new skins coming in this update. Starting off with Rogue Mortis, which looks freaking sweet. Finally, a really cool Mortis skin. He's got a sword instead of a shovel, and whenever he attacks, he has an attack animation, plus he has a super animation throwing out a sandstorm it looks pretty nice. You can also see Guard Rico, which does as well have an attack animation. Next up is Tropical Sprout, which I don't know about anyone else, but reminds me of Wilson. Stand guard, Wilson! That was the best clip I could find of Wilson, but I do hope you're with me in that he does kind of look like Wilson. And this next skin is free for everyone on the day of release of the update, and that is Barbarian King Bull, which has a different super animation slightly. I mean, look, it's a cool looking skin and it's free. So that's awesome. There's also three skins coming in June, just like some prior updates where they stagger the release of content. They are having three skins released in June, starting off with Summer Pam and also Evil Gene and Constructor Jackie. Summer Pam doesn't quite look finished in this Brawl Talk version. You can kind of tell by the arms, but hey, Summer Pam, let's go. Uh, and as you know, tickets are being removed from Brawl Stars and ticket events are changing as well. Now all the ticket events we know of, Robo Rumble, Big Game, and Boss Fight are all being changed to now have a max time of around two minutes and a max tokens of about a hundred per go. Also, if you didn't know any remaining tickets you have on update, every 10 tickets will be converted into one gem. So use them up now if you want a better reward than that. Hot Zone is coming back to Brawl Stars. That's right, with changes. First of all, there is a flagpole in the center of every zone now with a two flags, a blue one and a red one. And it looks like the flags raise as you get more points, perhaps signaling that when the flag gets to the top, your team wins. Or in other words, it looks like Hot Zone might have been changed to now having a maximum total points. Uh, similar to have Brawl Ball, you need two goals to score and you automatically win. It sounds like maybe in Hot Zone, they might have a similar style. You get to something like 30 points and your team automatically wins. That's a made-up number. Don't exactly know, but that's what it looks like. And you can also see in the zones that the flag will be flashing for whichever team has control of the zone. And you can also tell in Hot Zone another indicator that you have control of the zone is your side of the zone, so to speak. There's a blue side and a red side. The blue side will have arrows that are sort of rotating around, sort of like you have control. By the way, even though it's coming back, it still will be a limited time event. It's going to be up for about three 
weeks. And if it doesn't perform well, it will not come back to the game. So if you want it to stay in Brawl Stars, you're gonna have to play it and play it a lot. Now there are two new brawlers coming to Brawl Stars in this update. Let's start off with Gale, who is a cranky old guy who is somewhat of a janitor in Mr. P's hotel. He is an overworked and he's carrying too much luggage for his old age and he should have been replaced by a robot years ago. All right. More importantly, he throws five snowballs in a line that are somewhat clumped together. They do not pierce enemies and they deal 420 damage each for a total if all of them hit 2,100 damage per shot. His super is a snowblower that pushes back enemies with a gale-like wind. <laughs> I know, I know. It technically does damage, but it's only 140 and it looks like it pushes enemies all the way to the back of however far his range for the super goes. So if you start out at point blank range next to Gale and he supers you, you will go all the way back. But if you super someone at the very end of your range of your super, it will barely push them. All right? Copy that, Kari. Good, glad you understand. Now, as far as his range, I did some of my own tests and it looks like the range for his normal attack is six tiles long. Not very long, but it can do a good amount of damage and it's fairly wide. Now, his super is about seven and two thirds tiles long and even wider than his main attack. So his super looks like it can hit a decent amount, not bad. Also, his reload speed comes out to one 0.9 seconds, which is about average to be honest. Now we can't tell what his gadget or his star powers exactly are, but it would make a lot of sense to have a star power that specifically buffs his super, whether the damage it does because it does almost nothing or make it have even more pushback. I could easily see something like that happen. Now they also teased another new brawler, which is going to be coming in June. And they really didn't give us much info. My mistake. But it's a robot brawler with a companion, seems sort of like B, but actually it, you can tell by a bracelet on the robot's arm that it's a part of the Junker family. I mean, that's the Junker symbol, or at least was built by the Junkers. Although, I kind of thought it might be part of Mr. P's little hotel army, since I think he needs another person in there. But regardless, this brawler seems really unique, whose range is kind of like a thrower, in that you can pick specifically how long or short you want the brawler to attack. But it doesn't seem like an attack over walls, but the attack itself is very unique, firing out three orbs that go out and then come back in, uh, back wherever at the final destination is. And if all three orbs hit, it does 2,940 damage. So it can be a ton of damage if all three hit, but the health is very low, as you can see, like a thrower. So it can be risky to try to get high damage at close range. Also to note that little robot that you see in the picture earlier, you don't see in the gameplay, but we also haven't seen a super or gadget or star power. So my guess is that little robot is his super, but what does it do? Also curious why one of his arms looks very rusted, kind of like Robo Mike looks like. And why is one arm totally different from the other? Is that one arm gonna have a special ability? Maybe it fires out like a rocket or something? By the way, there's a new icon for Pam and also for Poco. Plus, there was a little bit of gameplay of the new Pam remodel. Looking nice, Pam. And this change is maybe not as big news to some people as it is to me, but Ryan now has a beard. I like it, Ryan. I heard people who have beards are cool. Definitely heard that from someone else. Great place! Well, there's more sneak peeks coming soon, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later. Peace.